Hi, everyone. Welcome to your Secure Privacy and Security segment. I'm Anna Berry, along with Alain Guy, the CEO of Secure. All right. The weekly hack is talking Vegas. I'm sure you heard the news of the casino hack. MGM, Caesars, I've stayed at both, both places. Luckily, it was not when they were hacked. So the issue, Elaine, I want you to talk a little bit about is the FBI is still struggling to basically find this group of casino hacking guys. It's an actual gang. They're based in the U.S. and they still haven't been arrested. So give us an update of what's going on and why we should be weary of stuff like this. Well, I leave the authorities to do their job, and I won't comment on that because they got quite a lot of work on their shoulders. What's important to know is that casino database is like the treasure trove. It's the holy grail because it's people that literally have money to spend, to throw away, and to gamble. That's the nature of the business. Interestingly enough, I stayed in Singapore a few years ago uh, it's the Sands Hotel or something. I forgot the name, but it's got that pool on the roof. And I received a few days ago an email from them. I mean, this was back in before 2019 even. And their database got hacked and my account has been compromised. So name, email address, everything. So this was before 2019. That's about almost four or five years ago. And the database stays. So even if you didn't stay there last month, Anna, you may have gone there two years ago I did. or at some point. Yeah. Your database is there because I didn't even go to the casino. I went to the hotel. Uh, there was a cybersecurity. There was a cloud conference there. And that's what we're exhibiting. And that's how they have my information. So a casino database is extremely valuable. It's a huge target. And as we advance in this tough economic climate, that's the kind of database people want to get. Then they're going to resell it in a dark web and make money from it or hack you and find what kind of credit card and banking info you have. So it's pretty, pretty scary. We know that all these enterprises use the same infrastructure, the same email uh, providers. And that's why we actually announced that we launched a brand new system for executives called Secure Relay, which essentially lets, it lets, let's say, MGM use their domain hosted with one of their providers, but the management and the C-level executives can host with us, maintaining the same domain. So we split the domain into two. It's, we're the only ones able to do that. And then they have the advantage of that secure sense, secure feature and all that that executives and managers would use for important communication. That's one way we can reduce crime and cyber hacking. So we're excited about that. Casinos are a prime target for this because they deal with obviously huge financial transactions. Yes, and sometimes you feel helpless because you go to a casino when I went and you have to download these apps in order to get a coffee or room service or go to the pool. and so. So much of your information is out there already. And sometimes we don't really know what we can do at that big level, the corporate level, but what can we do at the consumer level with, between our own information at home and our computers? And that's also, you provide that service of the secure send and reply throughout your email services. So talk a little bit about that because that's something we can adopt right now today on our own. Yeah, that's a great example. You're going to go to a casino or a hotel, and if you're going to give any kind of information, sometime, I don't know, they need a copy of your passport or something, I would use the secure email with secure send, secure reply, which essentially lets you transact with anybody outside of secure, and the whole communication happens only in our servers in Switzerland. So the other person doesn't need to have secure. They can just click on a link, they, they, they get in, they read your email, and they use secure reply. You can also attach a ton of attachments. That's one way. You should have several email, a general email that is, you know, throwable emails, we call it. We even offer that for consumer. We offer, I think, two aliases, uh, so two throwable emails that you can use at any time and then delete it and recreate another email. That's free with your account. So I would, I would use that. I would recommend doing that. 
And then you have your main email, which is for more private communication, your medical info, your real estate. Maybe you're going to refinance your home or, or do anything or travel. And when they need your social security number and whatever, you know, that's what I would use for secure. And one more step for privacy is the VPN. Talk about your recent launch of this VPN and then how people can start to adopt these services into their everyday lives. Yeah, the VPN is great. The VPN essentially puts you in a stealth mode. You're essentially in Switzerland. I should mention that we never require your phone number when you download our application. We even have a secure messenger and basically it, it doesn't require you to put your phone number. So that's huge. And not having a phone number out there, letting everybody know what you're using, having the VPN making you look like you're in Switzerland. Uh, because in Swiss law, the IP address is your private property. And it's illegal for us to even uh, sell it or whatever. So we don't data mine you. So right. get the VPN and get the email combo. It's affordable and you know, we do offer a promo code as well with a 15% discount. Uh, and it's privacy. The promo code is privacy. There you go. Well, privacy has arrived with Secure. Great speaking with you, Alain. And we'll see you next week for another topic of the weekly hack. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, everyone. And be very careful, especially these days. Absolutely. Absolutely.